Okay, alright, hello everyone. I'm gonna be doing lab number nine, installing a virtual printer. So, uh, just for context, I had done this video and I was in the process of uploading it and I accidentally turned off my computer, so I didn't have a saved copy, so I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully, this time, when I'm, whilst I'm uploading, I don't accidentally switch the computer off. Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, this will be my, um, like, my third time doing it, I guess. Yeah, because there was something else that went on. And so, you know, unfortunate. But, uh, no, 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 nothing I can do about it right now, right? Uh, why is it like that? Oh, there. Hello? Hello? Huh? Hello? Hello? Hmm? I always like this. Hello? Okay. I don't know what the heck is going on with this. Uh, computer? Load? Oh man. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm gonna undock it real quick. Yeah, I'm bad for this. Alright, so basically the process is we wanna, for installing a virtual computer, we're not gonna actually use any actual hardware for it. So basically, what you wanna do is make sure that um, you understand that this is gonna be virtual or making the computer. So it's not something that it's already there. So there you go. So, so. all right, there you go. So we're gonna sign in. Train means. Hopefully, I don't run out of time. I feel like I've already wasted some time. So clean up. So I'm gonna lock the taskbar. There you go. I'm also going to put it to the side because you can't really see the bottom like this. So, um, do, 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 do bottom left. Okay, there you go. All right, there you go. That's more like it. Okay, 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 okay. Okie dokie. So, basically, you want to head into control panel. Control panel? Or you don't have to, you could just automatically search up devices and printers. So, head into devices and printers, and you see right here that we have three printers already set. Now, what we want to do is create a virtual printer. So, we're basically going to look at the top. Is it say add a printer? I click that. Now, basically, what's happening here is going to be searching the network for available printers. So, and then if in the network, it's if the if like there's a physical computer or a printer that's connected to the network, it will allow you to connect right here. So, that's not the case though, because we don't have any computers on a network right now. So, what we want to do is the printer that I was that I want isn't listed here. So. That's the option you want to click. You're going to click right here. And basically, you want to add a local uh, local printer uh, or a network printer with manual settings. So that's the bottom bullet point. Um, we click next. Uh, using the existing port, the port is going to be um, file, print to file. Print to file. That's what the port is going to be. And for enter, and we're going to get started. We want the manufacturer to be generic. We want everything to be generic. So print the, the certificate. It's going to be generic slash text only. So you want to replace the current driver? Yes, you want it to replace the current driver. Now, what we want to put this, we want to put it as virtual printer. And if this loaded up, please load up. There you go. Virtual printer. Okay, press Uh Do not share this printer because that would be done like at lab 10 where you make a printer and you share in the network. Oh, that's that's the thing. I was supposed to do lab nine, and I did lab ten by accident. So, not the not the best not the best feeling. I have to redo it so many times. Okay, so right here we now see that we have four printers. So we have um, three. Uh, we have the fax, the Microsoft print to PDF, Microsoft XPS document writer, and then the virtual printer that we created. It's right here. Basically. Um, now I don't know what to do, so I'm, I'm gonna have to refer back to, refer back to our best render here. So we created, we 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 accessed device and printers on PC2. We added a generic uh, virtual printer. So I need to sneeze. Okay. How many uh, how many printed devices now displayed devices for? So now more are going to be displayed. We're going to create a text document and then we're going to print it out using the virtual printer. So we're going to do that. Okay. So now we're done with this. We're just going to quickly exit out of this right here. Quick
create a new uh, text file in the desktop. So text file is going to be um, uh, print print file. Is that the name? I forgot the name of it. Damn it! Um, I apologize for that. I forgot the name. It could be anything. Print printer file. That's the name of it. So I'm just gonna rename it just to go along with the documentation. So it's gonna be printer file. Oh, printer file. There you go. We want to do is say I uh, want to edit it. So we're gonna put open with Notepad, or because it might tell us to do something different. Open top. Okay, open document. Okay, okay, my okay. So that's what we're gonna do. So we have the print file. We're basically gonna right click on it. We're gonna open it, and we're gonna put. Uh, this is a virtual printer test. This is a virtual printer test. Now, actually, it wants us to put. What does it want us? What is? This is a virtual printing test. Yeah. Okay. So this is a virtual printing test. An exclamation point. So there you go. And now you want to print the file. So we're going to go over here, print. It's going to automatically be set to virtual printer. So we're going to be going off of that. We don't need to configure anything else. And we just click print. So now we want to put, we want to save the new window that opens up is save print output as. And now we just come up with, or it's going to tell us to put printed. Uh, they want, the, want, the name that they want us to put is printed file. So that's going to be in desktop. So when we press enter, a new desktop item should be appearing right now. There you go. Printed file PRN, which is the file extension that uh, printed the virtual printer uses. We're going to put Ken, so we're just going to hide that for now. Uh, yeah, the virtual printer. So yeah, I want us to print from the virtual one, printed file, open with. Okay, besides the original types, okay. Virtual panel devices. Okay, so now it's gonna basically ask us to open this up, and now when we do open up, we're gonna go um, open with. So given his options, we just want to click more down to give us our all of our options for opening this file. It doesn't have to necessarily be with Notepad; it could be with any other else. And uh, we're gonna unbox. Always use this app to open PNR files. So now that we unbox that, next second we open it up, it's gonna ask us, "Hey, how do you want to open up this file?" We're gonna click Notepad. So now there you go, Notepad. This is a virtual printer test. So you got the page file, printer file, which is like the title, then the text, and the information about that page. So it's page one, to error going up. And that's it for that. So now it's gonna ask us to go back to control panel and basically delete this printer. So it's a shame. You just created it and now you're gonna have to delete it. You wanna Click on it, select it, and say remove device, which is a UAC option. So are you sure you want to remove the device? Yes, no. We're gonna remove the device. There you go. Now we have that we have uh, our three original printers. So that's done, and I think that's it. Um which device has become the default printer now that virtual printer has been removed. So wanna open this up. You see, look here you go, that's the thing we always click. So we wanna always unbox it. Not always, but if you unbox it so you can see options each time you try to open up this file. How do you want to open it up? We're going to open it back up a notepad. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. We're just going to quickly exit out of here. Printer file. So you have this. This is a test. So I don't really care what's my misspelling because it's not going to matter because we're going to print. And this is going to be our uh, default here, which is Microsoft Print to PDF. So that's our default now, not, now that we removed the virtual printer from our our PC too. And that's it. That's it for instructions. Okay. Less than ten minutes. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Oh my goodness.